Yeah. That's all I got to say. I just got off the uh, phone with a very angry Neo Pro Wrestling Commissioner, Notorious TID. Oh, really? Who is upset and listening to the program that I never mentioned that Heath Slater is going to be in in in-ring competition. He's going to have a match. It's to be announced. So essentially, he's going to be in action, not just doing a meet and greet. Not just doing a meet and greet. No, he's in the ring. In action. Yes, yes, yes. So I. That's pretty sweet. You have to uh, stay tuned to GoNeoPro.ca yeah. for uh, that announcement. We talked about uh, a couple of the matches, but we should also run down a couple of the other matches that have been mentioned. A couple of matches yeah. that we didn't announce was uh, Clay Wilson against Vince Valor. Yep, yep. To uh, the last two Neo students from the last Neo Dojo. Yeah. Uh, Vince finished his training. Clay... Unfortunately, we had to close up the school before he finished, but yes. he went on to finish uh, training at another very reputable place, and yes. he's a little pissed off that he was left off the uh, homecoming show, so he kind of threw that out there, and, yes. and he wants to make a name for himself so, on the uh, show. Clay Wilson versus Vince Valor. I think Vince. Uh, I think he wrestled Tarek on the last show, if I, if I recall properly. Okay. Yes, he did. Yes, and uh, also, this is a match I find interesting, Primo, because it's Jeremy Elliott... Who we all know as the as the big stepdaddy here in Niagara against red boots. Uh, a, red boots, red boots, you know, uh, Godfather of William. Yeah. But what's interesting is he's wrestling Daddy Davis. Mm-hmm. So both daddies. It's like who do you? Well, think? not according to uh, Daddy Davis, no. they're not. No, he says Jeremy Elliott is a poor father. Oh. Yeah. He said he's actually not even a real father. That is fighting words for wow. somebody who really cares about their children. Yeah, so that should be interesting. So yeah. a lot of things going on at uh, Neo Pro Wrestling. I mean, if I was Jeremy Ellie, I wouldn't be taking that very lightly. Well, you, I can no. guarantee you he's not going to take that lightly. I am I can, a mother, and uh, I would not take that lying down. That's I can guarantee I you say. Jeremy Ellie is going to be, uh, he's going to have something in store for Daddy Davis. Yeah, there should be some fireworks in that yeah. match for yes. sure. But Daddy Davis, he's a pretty smart wrestler. He's sleek. Yes, I've been in the sleek. ring with him a lot. You know, you can actually, get a victory. He's on a roll here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, all right. Well, I uh, actually we have a call coming in. Yes. Are we okay to take a call? Yes, take okay? a call. Yes. Because this one I think is really important. So, um, caller, you are on the line. Primo Scordino. Yeah. Jake O'Reilly here. Oh, surprise, surprise. Oh, oh no. How are you? How am I? I'm doing How great. You? How are you? Good. I'm doing great. Yeah, no. How are you? I'm 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 ready. I'm ready to uh, to kill the cult. Yeah, you you better be ready. So all I hear about this late, I'm listening to this this radio show. Terrible, by the way, Jay Moore. I never liked you. Your I'm partner's out. okay. Oh, okay, um, thank you. You're you're welcome. Now be quiet. I've uh, I've listened to this whole show, and all I hear is. Is Vince Valour, uh, Clay Wilson? Oh, I can't wait to get on the Neo show, and and that's exactly where I started too. Till I realized all you people are just screwing with people's minds. Neo is is just a stepping stone to better things, and you're making it out like it's WrestleMania. And I'm here to kill that. I'm here to kill that by beating you and your stupid partner Stickball again on the 16th. Again? When was the last time? In the parking lot before the homecoming event, stupid. Oh, so it was you. So, so you are admitting that it was you. Absolutely. And you Why took not? out you took out the biggest, baddest guy because you knew if he was there, you wouldn't get the job done. And then you still didn't get the job done. Just like you didn't get the job done 10 years ago. Just like you didn't get the job done 20 years ago. Every time Jake O'Reilly, Anthony Darko step in the ring with the Italianos, you lose. Well, maybe you'll get Tornado and Jake O'Reilly. Maybe you'll get Darko and Tornado. Maybe we'll get maybe all three of you. Maybe you will. And maybe you will. And you know what? It's going to be a lot different this time. And the Italianos, there has been. It's a tag team of the past. The Piss Beaters, the Deadly Venoms are the future. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> Jake O'Reilly, let me ask you a question. I, I know you don't like me, but I mean... Coming up on the 16th here at Neo Pro, you have this match. You've got it locked in under free bird rules. And is it, why is that? Is it, um, 
you don't want anyone to know is is it is a little bit of cowardism shall i that's say exactly what it is is cowardice because it's they don't what want that, what, what, they no, think that listen. if they surprise us with two out of the three that w- it will be like some big shock and we won't be ready but that's not the way it's going to be because the italianos are always ready we're ready for anything we're ready for all three of you it doesn't matter yeah, yeah, yeah. we're, we're local blood. good guys that can beat anyone we've heard this story before no it's the free bird thing is is you know name it what you want all three of us men, Darko, Tornado, and myself, will combine any way we want because we're not following the Neo rules. We're not following the cult's playbook. We do what we want when we want. So they've named it Freebird Rules because it's got to fit in the wrestling lore. We do what we want, not just Neo, everywhere we wrestle. Everywhere we wrestle, we do what we want, and we win everywhere. Listen, I've known Jake O'Reilly for 20 years. I've been up and down the road fighting this guy 100 times, 500 times, it don't matter. The one thing, tough guy. I'm not going to sit back and say he's not. But at the end of the day, he is not what he says he is. Wow. And on September 16th... What, what's that supposed to mean? What's that supposed to mean? I'm not what I say I am. It means you're coming you're out here saying about- you're men, you're men this, everybody else is a boy. Bull. All right? Come September 16th, when you step in the ring again with the Italianos, you're going to get proven again that you are nothing. Just like every other time in the past. The Italianos little, up, Jake hey, O'Reilly shut up, shut up. down. Here, here's, here's the little hint for you Neo fans and you, Primo. I'm listening. I'll be one of the tag team. Jake O'Reilly will be facing you because I hate you. I always have for 20 years. I always have. And Stickball, Stickball is a tough dude, and I love beating up tough dudes. It might be Darko tagging with me, might be Asher, might be Tornado. Who's to say? All I know is I'm going to leave you with this. Train your neck, because I'm going to hit you with a pile driver. You say you love beating up tough dudes, but you love beating them up from behind when they're not looking. Right? Because you know if Stickball was there, you don't get the job done. September 16th, again, you don't get the job done. Wow. Jake O'Reilly just hung up. He hung up. Simple enough. Yeah. Maybe he is a little bit of a coward. I don't want to say that on air because I know I'm going to have to deal with him on the 16th. But uh, Jake O'Reilly, he just announced that he's one of the opponents. Fantastic. Do you believe that, though? No. He's a liar. I'm prepared for all three of them. Yeah. He literally, like, actually hung up. It's not some sort of gimmick. He (laughs) actually... (laughs) Hung up. Yeah. Call him back. He said. <laughs> no, I looked down for one second and he's gone. Yeah. He said what he has to say. Oh my goodness. He said he's one of the opponents. So there's a little teaser for the Neo fans out there. Jake O'Reilly says he's going to be one of the opponents in the tag team match. Will he face Crazy Steve? That could be another question. Those I don't two know. have known each other just as long yes. as me and O'Reilly have known each other. It, it, he sounds that feuds there as well. It's very, it's very uh, sketch the way he's talking on the phone. It's very weird the way he started at this company and has turned into this, where he's bitter. calling it a call. Yeah, bitter, very bitter, bitter, I'm, and I'm just little, straight I'm a bitterness. Sad, I couldn't get, say goodbye. He didn't miss anything. He, he doesn't okay. want to talk to you. Okay. I can guarantee you, he's miserable. <laughs> yes, you can say goodbye to him at the show on September sixteenth. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-huh. Yeah, so that's it, man. The Italianos and uh, and versus the Deadly Venoms in a Freebird style rules match. Jake O'Reilly says he's going to be one of the opponents, so that only leaves El Tornado or Darko as who could be the other uh, tag team partners with yeah. Jake O'Reilly. Yeah, you know, and that leaves it open for the Crazy Steve match, who's also in a match with the Deadly Venoms under uh, Freebird rules match. You know, Jeremy Elliott versus Daddy Davis, Clay Wilson versus Vince Valor, Casey Spinelli versus Nikita in the... Uh... I wanted to say that one. Well, do but, it! Well, you're going on a rampage. Yeah, round robin tournament you know, for the women's championship. Women. Italianos versus uh, Deadly Venoms and the Freebirds rules. Yeah. Heath Slater will be in a match and much, much more still to come. We announce I matches know. every Friday. Go Neopro.ca is where you get your tickets. Super duper excited. Columbus Club of Niagara. Yeah, make sure you bring your uh, non-perishable food yes. items, donations, yes. Go snacks, community crew, yep. all that fun stuff. Mean greet starts at 4.30, doors open at 5.15, bell time 6 p.m. You got it, Primo. Shabing, shabam, shaboom. Yes. It's good to have Primo Scordino in here. I'm, 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 As always. I apologize for the circumstances.
circumstances with Jacob Riley calling, but things needed to be said. You know what? I'm sorry. I, w- I didn't know. I think you did I, know. I, I did think you actually did know. The way you set that what up you was... Think, you think he was? You, he called and said, You know Hi, what? Even if you did know... I'm Jake O'Reilly. Even if you did know, thank you, because it just fires me up that much yeah, more. Yeah, that's right. Well, then, see? Bam. That's right. That's right. Bam. <laughs> All right, let's get to the music before uh, I wanna, yeah. uh, okay. let's we get say to goodbye music. to Primo because we're running over time. Okay, yeah. so uh, let's uh, you know get to our music. Yes, it's the music lineup for Friday and Saturday and into the long weekend. Uh, this is a live band's happening in the pubs around Niagara. Friday, Danny Boy, Feelin' at uh, Donnelly's Pub, Hard Rock Hooligans at Putty's, JDM Feelin'. Duo at Johnny Rocco's, Rock of 80s at Meriton Community Center, Slider at Cat's Caboose, Jack Van Ginger at the Irish Harp, Neo Rain at Big Texas, and Ryan Thomas Smell at Local. On Saturday, we have Blackwire at the Lucky Penny, 